Hello guys, this is Antoine Allen. And I'm Lester Green. This is Unscripted Conversations. This is our first uh, podcast series. We started this series to give the film community a different view, a different outlook. Our first uh, episode is called Act Like You Love Yourself. It's also the new book by Lester Green called Act Like You Love Yourself. And the reason why we call it Act Like You Love Yourself because in the film community, I feel like we give so much to everybody else and we don't look at ourselves as an actor. How many times you go to the casting audition, you put yourself out there, get so much rejections, just waiting for someone to put you on, waiting for someone to give you that, that opportunity. opportunity. And you know what? We didn't differ ever now. Now you don't have to wait for nobody. Mm. You get your own camera, get your own crew, shoot your own films. So this message is for anybody that's an artist. You don't have to wait for anybody anymore, especially now. We have iPhones, we have cameras that's 4K, it only costs mm. $2,000. So us, we came together and said, you know what? Instead of, instead of us waiting for someone to tell us we're great, that's instead of we chase the money, that's attract money. Mm. And this is a whole series about act like you love yourself. Um, Lester got a book, Act Like You Love Yourself, and he's, a, he's the author. He started his book. Why, why you even start your book? What made you want to start your book? Well, I wanted to give a voice to all the people out there who are struggling being an actor or just struggling in life. I think the book addresses various issues that'll just help you move forward in your life. And let's talk about some topics in your book. Okay, yeah, we could talk about the first topic. It's called Life is Too Short, yeah. right? It started with that because that's where I met Antoine on the set of his feature film, Life is Too Short. And he came to me and he saw something in me and he said, you know what, Lester, instead of waiting for people to cast you and stuff, why don't we come together and work on our own short film? That gave birth to Raw Footage, my very first produced short film. It's actually airing on national TV right now. CBS to be exact, exactly. Yep. And so that was all the validation that I needed. I created my own short film. He helped me cast the, the crew and, and the cast and we were off and running and that's all it took. Once I got that first film under my belt, we haven't stopped. Yeah, and the title, Life is Too Short, mm -hmm. is basically life is too short. Right. You know, you're here today, going, going tomorrow. tomorrow. And I don't want to die. I'm 37 years old. I don't want to die an old man full of regrets. Right. It's so many people that live and live their life, been on this earth for so many years, they haven't accomplished anything. Right. And they don't have that internal happiness. Mm. What's the next topic on your book? And then the next one is called, I Got the Power. Because obviously, mm. once you start gaining the momentum and you start getting your stuff on national TV and you start getting into festivals and winning awards, then you create that self power that comes from within. Yeah, and I got the power is basically you do have the power. You know, sometimes you feel like if I don't get to this big festival, mm. if this big director don't call me what I'm going to do, right. you have to realize we all have different paths. Just because you didn't get your film in a big festival or you get a big network, there's other options, other outlets. Sure. You know, being on YouTube, um, renting out movie theaters. I rent out um, a lot of theaters to show my own film and I make a nice little income off it. So it's just showing your self-worth and not doing the same thing. When I hear actors or anybody in the industry that say, hey, I've been putting in my work for 20, 30 years, what I'm hearing is you waited for 20, 30 years for someone to tell you mm -hmm. you're great. Antoine Allen created his own film festival. The Validate Yourself Film Festival. Exactly. So he's not waiting for these festivals to accept his projects. He's creating his own platform, his own festival, and he's accepting filmmakers and actors and producers so that they can feel welcomed. And the reason why I even start my own film festival <coughs> is I was going to a lot of festivals. My um, first feature film, Life Too Short, won 18 awards domestically, internationally. And it was good, but some of the filmmakers or some of the film festival owners treat filmmakers like they, they nothing. So instead of me complaining about how this film program and take my film or how this person did this, I became part of the solution. I think sometimes in life we complain too much. It's all right to complain, but now you gotta do something. So, it's, so I start my own film festival, uh, Validate Yourself. The book? Act like you love yourself, I called it that, because a lot of times people walk into the audition room and they don't have that confidence or they're lacking something. I think it's important to walk into that room, no matter where it is, if you have a business meeting or a conference meeting, you wanna walk into that room and act like you love yourself. It's all about how you project yourself, how you portray yourself. You want people to feel your energy. And I, I'm constantly telling people that that energy is palpable. Yeah, energy don't lie. Right, energy does not lie. People can feel that. 
And so it's so important to just carry that positive energy with you. I recently made a post about surrounding myself with the right people because I felt like I was surrounding myself with the wrong people. And I'd get a project done and because the energy wasn't right, it threw everything else off. So just be careful with the people you surround yourself with. And that's a good way to talk about act like you love yourself. Sometimes we get the wrong people around us mm -hmm. because we're looking for validation. Mm -hmm. The people that watch this right now, how many times you did a project, you cast this person, work with this person, and you know, I don't really like that person, mm -hmm. but that person has something that you want. Whatever you want, you can get yourself. And um, also, know your self-worth. So it's times when I first started in this industry, I had people around me, I had certain individuals, and I knew I didn't like them, but I didn't have the confidence enough to be like, let's get rid of him, let's get rid of that. Energy don't lie. If you feel good about yourself, and the person around you is making you feel good, that's the person. Yeah. When you when you on Facebook, and you got friends that don't comment on your posts, don't like your stuff, and you see them in the street, hey man, I'm proud of you. Like, wait a minute, I didn't even know you was looking at my stuff. <laughs> you I watch out for everything because I want people to celebrate me. Give me the roses while I'm here. Yeah. And um, man, to so my man. to my writers, you know. I know y'all write a lot of y'all scripts and stream plays and y'all submit to the contests. And sometimes you just don't get in. Save that little money up and produce your own scripts. Mm. Direct your own stuff. This is the empowerment uh, podcast series. Right. I don't want none of my filmmakers, my writers, my actors feel like just because this didn't happen or that didn't happen or you a certain color. No, it, that, that, that don't mean anything. Yeah. We're in the age now that we have the power. Mm. Um, Love that. You know, being on Film Courage, you know, working with them on the podcast series, you know, we're sharing the power. Right. Find great partners. What I love about Film Courage is I didn't have the money, I didn't have $100,000 or whatever money to have a scholarship to go to the NYU or the best film suit. Right. But Film Courage was my teacher. You know, I've been watching Film Courage since I started and I learned so much from the interviews, from the inspirations. And now, look at me now, I got a podcast series on one of my favorite publications. Nice. So. Watching this podcast series, I want everybody to know, act like you love yourself. Mm -hmm. Listen to your gut. Listen to your feeling. Trust yourself more. And let's get to work. Let's make some films. Yeah. And get the right actors around you. Yes, yes, yes. You know, if, if you go to a film festival, you're going to meet actors. You're going to meet DPs. You're going to meet editors. Mm. That's your crew right there. True. You just got to find them. It costs a lot of money. Don't spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on a short film. There's a few of your filmmakers out there <laughs> that's spending twenty, thirty thousand on a short film for what? I could do four short films, or I could do a feature with that. Right. Use your money wisely. Another thing too um, about spending money on budgets: don't throw the bank away. Meaning, don't spend all this money on this one project, wishing that this is the project, this is a dream project. Mm. Spread it out. We have right now uh, five short films on a, on a film festival market. Right. We have a feature. We have web series out there. We can be flooding the market. Right. You just never know what project you're gonna take you to the next level. Right. It's like having a hit record. Once you have that first hit, you gotta keep going, keep going, keep going. Right. So, you know, that's what I have to say. Right. And then when you walk into the boardroom, this is what he taught me. You go in there and you pitch that one pr project, right? And let's say they don't like it. The next question they might ask you, oh, do you have anything else? What are you gonna say? I only have one project, that's all I got. If this guy walks into a boardroom right now, oh, we're not crazy about that project. Do you have something else? He has about five, six, seven, eight different projects that he can put on the table and pitch. So like he said before, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Make sure you, you, you give yourself options. You know, give yourself that and, opportunity. And that's another part, act like you love yourself. Mm -hmm. If you go in a meeting with that one idea, you know you should have more ideas. Yeah, definitely. And another tip, if you have a web series or a movie, whatever, I always say shoot it first. Because sometimes, if you don't have big names attached to that story, it's going to be hard to sell an ID on paper. Yeah. Give them the visual first. Yeah. So if I have a feature, or I have a podcast series, I want to shoot maybe the first 20 minutes, or the teaser, or if you have a TV show, shoot the first episode. Because when you work in that meeting, they see the visual already. They say yes or no. You have to figure things out. Oh, so what happened here? Mm -hmm. If you're just speaking. Give them the visual. Visual is more easier because when they look at it, they say yes or no. Yeah. So if you're going to pitch to anybody, investors, networks, if it's a web series, if it's a TV show, if it's a feature. If it's a feature, shoot the trailer for it. If it's a web series, shoot the first episode. If it's a TV show, shoot the pilot. Mm. It, you know, just to give them a visual. 
But um, but yeah, this is the podcast series, Unscripted Conversations. The, yeah, that's the green signing out. Antoine Allen. Act like you love yourself, guys. Yeah. Stop waiting on those goddamn people. Peace. Go get that book. Yeah, go get the book. Act yeah, like you love yeah. yourself on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Go get that book.